Hey there, good morning everyone. Tuesday the 1st of March 2022. This morning's devotional is a reading from Colossians chapter 2, reading verses 6 and 7 which read, So then, just as you have received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live in Him, rooted and built up in Him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. Did you notice that little phrase over there? Strengthened in the faith as you were taught. God grows our faith in Him. He does not want you to have any faith, like the weak faith that is dependent on circumstances. For example, when the going is good, then the faith is strong. But when the times are hard, the faith becomes weak or almost non-existent. So how does God grow a strong faith in Him? Firstly, we need to grow in reading and the understanding of His Word. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 reminds us, Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the Word of Christ. The only way you can grow faith is by spending time, quality time that is, in the, the Scriptures, and not just having a quick glance flipping through the pages and saying, well, I've read the Bible. It requires reading with intent. It requires seeking to understand and grow in faith in God. Secondly, faith is a muscle. You don't grow muscle without some sort of resistance. The only way you can grow a muscle is by stretching it, testing it, and putting weight on it. It is much like a bodybuilder who wants to build a muscular body but never goes to the gym to train. We live in an instant world. Instant communication, instant coffee, instant diets, instant meals, and the list goes on and on and on. But there are certain things that do require some work and one of these things is to build your faith. Your circumstances around you are what God uses to build your faith in Him. The same is true of true faith. You don't just grow faith by sitting around and saying, Oh, I want more faith. Faith needs to be tested. So God allows the circumstances in your life to build and stretch and train that faith muscle. My dear friends, let us not only have the desire for a stronger faith, because we do need it in today's world. But let us begin exercising that faith muscle with all earnestness. It can be painful, but believe you me, at the end of the day, it is absolutely worth it. May the Lord be with you. May He bless you. May He cause His face to shine upon you and be with you always. Goodbye.